the 13 presentation of Cinema 13 was made possible by Sims Clothing, where an educated consumer is our best customer, and by the members of 13. Next Saturday night looks horrible, so lock the doors, dim the lights, and find something to squeeze. Our thriller of an evening begins with the profile of Creepmeister Bela Lugosi, that's film on film at 10. Then it's Bella again as the caped invader in this horror classic. I am Dracula. A moment ago, I stumbled upon a most amazing phenomenon. Something so incredible, I mistrust my own judgment. Look. Dracula. The very mention of the name brings to mind things so evil, so fantastic, so degrading. You wonder if it isn't all a dream, a nightmare. Rats. Rats. But no, this is no dream. This is Dracula, the original terrifying story of a maniac and a man who lived after death, lived on human blood, took the form of a vampire bat and lured innocent girls to a fate truly worse than death. Dracula? Oh, what, what's he done to you today? Tell me. He came to me. He opened the thing in his arms. And it made me drink. Masterpiece Theater presents Haley Mills, David Robb, and Holly Aird in The Flame Trees of Thika. Elspeth Huxley's memoir of pioneer life in the African wilderness. A turn of the century drama filmed on location in Kenya. The Flame Trees of Thika on Masterpiece Theater. Back by popular demand, Sunday at 9. Monday on 13. At nine, Catherine Ann Porter, a portrait of the writer as reflected in her stories. She created in Miranda partly the little girl that she was and partly the little girl that she would have liked to have been. At 10, every picture tells a story, a portrait of the artist William Scott. And at 11.30, a trip to 26 bathrooms, the showering story of sinks, tubs, and... Excuse me, I have to go now. That's Monday on 13. While America saw it all on TV, they saw it all for real. When a rocket went off, everyone would run outside, day or night, and yell, missile, missile. Because they lived in Cocoa Beach, Florida in the 50s and 60s, and their dads were the missile men, and they were Cape Canaveral kids growing up during the glory days of the race for space. If a bunch of the fathers didn't come home at five, we knew something was counting down. Growing up with rockets, a Cape Canaveral kid looks back. Kids of the Cape, Wednesday at 9. The reason I support 13 is probably guilt. I've taped more shows off 13 than anywhere. I'm also guilty of getting mad at 13 during those pledge drives. I got all three hours of Beckett, including the pledge breaks. I really wish 13 could get the money from us without interrupting the programs. This concludes our broadcast day on Channel 13, WNET. Owned and operated by the Educational Broadcasting Corporation. Assigned to Newark, New Jersey, and serving the tri-state metropolitan area. This is a non-profit, non-commercial television station broadcasting seven days a week. Tonight's continuity producer was Mary Beth Cunningham. Broadcast coordinator, Al Broderick. Technical director, Jay Leibowitz. Until tomorrow morning at 7.30, when we begin the day with Sesame Street, from the staff of the Educational Broadcasting Corporation, this is Tom Stewart. Good night. <laughs>